President Hamid Karzai has accepted the August presidential election date, the date decided by the Independent Election Commission, but that doesn't solve Afghanistan's problems. Karzai's presidential term in office ends on May the 21st. The opposition wants him to step down. It doesn't seem he has any plans to do that. The end of my term is due and it has conditions. According to the constitution, the incumbent president will hand over power to the president-elect who will receive the vote of the people. The opposition wants an interim government to rule the country until the polls, and they believe Karzai is trying to hold on to power to win the election. He's determined uh, to stay uh, in, in spite of illegitimacy uh, of him staying there of the 22nd of May. That's very obvious. And I think it's there that he sees the only, for him as the only chance for winning. Karzai's supporters dismiss that claim and believe he should stay on after May because the Constitution should be upheld. Karzai should stay in the office because of the legitimacy of the Constitution. He had the legitimacy the result of the other election will comes out. We have only two options. One, announce the emergency state. In four months, there will be election. The second is United Nations should make an exact and specific date because when the Constitution is not going to be exist, United Nations have the rights to announce the day. Karzai has lost a lot of support among Afghans, and he now has a rocky relationship with the West. But the man is still powerful, enjoying the support of governors and tribes. No doubt he wants to run for re-election. Afghanistan has rarely seen a peaceful transition of power, and this political crisis is dangerous. Some are warning a prolonged political stalemate could lead to violence. The next few weeks are critical for this country, and while politicians play their political games, Afghans can only hope national consensus is reached before it is too late. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Kabul.